In this video we'll start with our first GUI object. Now if you open up the files that come with this course then you will find in the files a folder called GUI and in that folder you will find a couple of files. One of them is called Grenade Count GUI and that's a PNG file and then there's a folder Gunplay and a Photoshop file in case you want to modify things. Now first before we start importing those Let's go into Unity and make ourselves a new folder just to neatly organize things and call it GUI for our GUI. Then open up the project files and drop the grenade count GUI.png into this folder. Now it will then import it and as we can see it has a grenade and a black square. Now this is not entirely what the image looks like because PNG images contain alpha channels. If you want to see the alpha channel of this image, just click in the preview, this little button here, and it will show you the alpha channel. So only what is white will be visible on the screen and what is black will be cut off. So that makes the image kind of look like what you see up top here. So that is basically a grenade with a little square behind it to show the number of grenades that we have left. Now, to make a new GUI, you go to Game Object, Create Other, and then a GUI Texture. Now, we'll look at the GUI text later because we need text to display the amount of grenades we still have left. But a GUI Texture is basically what makes a texture show up on top of your 3D view. Now, as soon as I click that, you get a handle in 3D space and you can move it around and stuff, but it really doesn't help much because it's only visible in the game view. Now as you can see this is the image that was just added and it's called the Unity Watermark. Now let's take a look here at the uh, position values for example. It's set to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and as you can see that is a little inconsistent with the other game objects in the world because they all have different values. Now that is because the GUI is laying on top of the 3D view and therefore has its own X and Y system. If I change for example the X to 0 0.1 you can see that it moves towards the left and if I change it to all the way to 1 it moves all the way to the right. So that means the horizontal axis here is X and it spans all the way from 0 to 1 roughly. Let's change this back to 0 0.5 now the Y is the same story as soon as I go to 0 0.9 for example you can see it goes all the way up and as I go to 0 0.1 it goes all the way down. The vertical axis is also from 0 to 1. So that is the new X and Y values that we get to play with. Now there's also a couple of values under here and it shows us the pixel inset and this basically means from the point of the middle of the item how far do we have to go left and right to show this image so in this case it takes the width and the height of the image and divides it by two and then that basically places it in the middle of our center point now we don't really need this unity logo here so let's select it in the hierarchy and delete it and let's make something with our grenade count GUI now the way to quickly do that is to simply select the grenade count GUI and with it selected go to game object create other and then your GUI texture and then it will create it with this texture in mind because you already had it selected so it's a little bit thinking for you and accepting that you might want to use this as your GUI. Now let's change the name over here a little bit. Usually when I do GUIs I start my name of my game object with a G underscore and then the name. So this would be grenade. Alright, perfect. That works. Now I want to position it in the left top corner because it's a little bit annoying when I'm walking around and it's in the middle as you can see. <laughs> so let's uh, move it up to the left top. So we need to change this to about 0 0.9 and the X to about 1. Now, this is a pretty delicate thing. Um, usually if you just only use one number behind the 
dot or in the decimals then it's not very precise enough let me show you exactly what I mean if I play my game you can see that it is not exactly in the corner because the uh, screen is not exactly square now if I change my aspect ratio by going with my mouse to this little thing here and for example if I want to see what it looks like on a widescreen TV now you can see it still looks pretty much okay up in that corner but it's closer to the top than it is to the left if I change it to a 4-3 aspect ratio you can see it's almost even the top is almost as far away as the left is if I change it to for example the web size well that, this looks pretty good in the web version then and then there's also your standalone pretty much game which is the resolution that I'm also shooting this video at and it will be about even so it really depends on the aspect ratio if your GUI is going to work out or not and this could be a little bit of a pain sometimes especially in the next video when we start adding text on top of this grenade to show the amount of grenades we have so but no worries we'll take it step by step let me pause this here in the next video let's take a look at placing a text on top of this